Now there are some goal farms in WoW that I truly love. So today we'll be going over the Dreamleaf Gold Farm. Let us begin. Located within Valsharar in the dungeon of the Dark Hearth Heart Thicket is one of my most favorite gold farms. This is the Dreamleaf Gold Farm and it takes roughly around about 30 minutes in order to complete. What you're going to be wanting to do is by jumping into the instance and then subsequently turning on Worth It Recorder. Why why? Because I want to. <laughs> Basically, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to run past all of these mobs. Apologies if you hear any clicking. This is a non-scripted video with all of the extra additional stuff. Don't worry about these mobs as I'm basically just going to go past them all and just head straight over to what we are farming for, which is the lashes. It is wise to know that we are farming these for Dreamleaf, Ysera-line seeds, and also Nightmare Pods. Now, Nightmare pods actually contain loads of roseate pigment and also dream leaf as well. This gives us additional materials and currently we have to wait for this little gameplay instance thing to happen. What we can do however is once all of these mobs actually chase us in we can go into our shadow meld this is why I use a druid because we don't really want to kill these mobs we want to do this as efficiently as possible we then want to basically gather these guys up which are the lashes pretty much all we have to do is just gather these up there is a few behind the actual house which you need to actually get because there's quite a few there's actually about five here in which I would actually recommend currently I am actually doing this video off the cuff there is no script to this I just decided to make a video and that's because I'm playing around with content structures and all that stuff and we were talking this in the discord about having loads of monotone with the scripted videos where they are structured and they are very good there's a little bit of an issue with that where it just seems that I don't actually care when I in fact actually do care it's kind of like counterintuitive now one thing to note is you get your herb gathering once you've done the run when you've gathered them up all here the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have du -du -du, dark moon fire water potion active because it makes it an instant cast when you're actually herbing these mobs. This saves you so much time, it is insane. I love this. But at the end of the day, we have completed the farm and we are going to go into our dream walk ability right now. This will port me out of the dungeon so I can actually go back in. I find this to be a very helpful way as then it just takes me straight out to the other side of the instance. Don't forget to press reset all instances, otherwise you can't run this again. And overall, I would always recommend milling Dreamleaf. This is because I do glyphs, I like my scribe, I prefer him to do it, and it makes me more gold in the long run. I farm to craft the majority of the time, and then we just repeat the process of this farm once again. We mill the Dreamleaf for roseate pigment and sallow pigment this is for, to create the legion glyphs unfortunately you can't just trade it into the ink trader as you did because that got changed in shadowlands which i'm actually pretty sad about because yeah i really liked the method of getting additional mats from dreamleaf and the nightmare pods that you actually get from this now we don't actually have any nightmare pods as of yet but we will do uh, eventually in this farm so the only additional things that i would recommend for this farm is once you have dreamwalked in and out of the instance or if you're on another character and you're trying to do this a lot faster unfortunately dream walk is the only ability i found that works quite well this is another reason why i like druids as they just get the job done the other things of note are literally milling we've already discussed this and the dark moon fire water potion for gathering up all of these mobs i know that gold per hour got completely destroyed when the auction house merged i was actually pretty sad about that because just pain when it comes towards this farm i would always recommend go double checking like worth it or something that actually tells you gold per hour obviously worth it is my add-on so obviously i'm going to recommend it and with my actual farming test from a while back we actually can get on average a 457 yesera lion seeds and 944 dreamly for basically 30 minutes worth of farming. That's pretty damn good in 
order to actually make a decent amount of gold per hour as we're only spending 30 minutes as opposed to one hour. The only other thing I would have recommended is the sell rate. The sell rate's really good for Dreamleaf. So if you want some quick sales, I would always recommend this gold farm. Once again, I just wanted to play around with content structures and just to see what you thought of this video. Other than that, guys, I wish you all the best and I have more coming in the future within the next couple of months as I'm fi currently finishing off a massive project of mine that's lasted about a good three years so that should be quite fun to actually celebrate by making a ton of content other than that guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i shall see you in the next video which will be soon mm -hmm.